Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to my new Let's Play. My name's Mr. Convinster. Um I am playing a game called Faster Than Light, or FTL for short. It is an indie game, it's by Subset Games. It has been played by quite a few famous Let's Players, the likes of Total Biscuit and OMGF Kata. So yes, it is an indie game, I think I said that already. Um, it's very good actually, it has kind of like a Star Trek kind of feel to it. If you never played Star Trek, then... Never played, never watched Star Trek, then... Yeah, you'll find out. It's kind of like... If I say it's Star Wars, people might get angry, but it's not like Star Wars. Star Wars. It's quite interesting. You have a ship. I am going to name my ship. What should I name my ship? Should I name it... Something English. I'll name it something English. I hope my mic's on. And I hope you can hear this, by the way. I've been fiddling around the um, the sound configurations, so it should be pretty good. I think I'll name my ship. I've already played this, but I think I'll name it again the same thing I had it earlier. HMS Victory. Because I'm English, and Victory is a cool name for a ship. Obviously, I need to be in this game, so I'll be... Um, I'll just call myself Mr. Comista. Or just Mr. Comista. Just Comista. Oh dear. I can't say I'm Mr. now. I will um, name this guy. Um, I'm going to name really stupid names like John and stuff. It's like real stupid, you know. Common name. It's not stupid. Um, this one will be called... Philip. Did I spell that right, Philip? I don't know if I spelled that right, that's probably wrong, that's totally wrong, probably. They're all gonna be men. Grrr. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then. Um, so yes, so you have control of the ship. And all of these parts are very vital to the... Oh, shush. Very vital to the survival of your ship. You have your oxygen here. The oxygen runs out, you're dead. You have your engines, which let you... Um, Go to hyperspeed, I suppose that's what it's called. What in this thing, in this game, I think it's called faster than light or something. FTL. You have your weapon system. If that goes down, you're not able to fire your weapons. You have a medic bay. You can control your doors here. Surveillance, which shows all of the rooms, shields, and then the cockpit. So let's get started, shall we? Okay, I'll be reading most of this. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You need these supplies for the journey. So make sure you explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch you. I won't read the tip, because I can't be bored. So I'm going to position my people to the stations. Oh, I need sp space. Okay, oh, that was prob probably shouldn't have done that. Probably all going, ah, my ears. <laughs> I am... Um, going to go upwards and then around and get to the exit. On your way you do meet lots of, oh, see, lots of different type of things. You get into an asteroid field like I am at the moment. I'm now going to have to power up all my weapons. Asteroid fields are problematic, to be honest. They just, they take down your shields a lot. Ooh, that was close. Take that out of the weapons. I will take out the shields. There we go. And I'll fire one more burst to their engines and to the cockpit. Yeah, but Astro Fields are prob problematic. They take on your shield. Seeing I've, uh, I've only got one shield here. Oh, and I've taken that out. And you get scrap. Scrap is kind of like space money, I suppose. Missiles are in short supply and fuel. That's for the jumping. So it, it, I have to wait until I can get enough now to be able to go to hyperspeed. You can also control your doors, so see here, I can open that and that can vent it out because you can get fires on the ship and that can stop a fire by depriving it of oxygen. Let's jump here. I think I'll only do one episode of this for today, seeing as I have to do some coursework, which is a problem at the moment, as I want to play video games, but I can't. Okay, a pirate ship is laying in wait inside the asteroid field. It immediately moves into attack. Ah, this guy has a normal layout, so I don't need to do much. 
I'm going to fire my missiles there and burst lasers there. They just sent something at me. Oh, my shields are down and I've lost oxygen. You get there and fix the oxygen. Oh no. Oh, fire your weapons, come on. Mm, please don't kill us, we will give you everything. Hmm. Shall I accept that or shall I say we will not accept surrender? I think I'll destroy them. No one likes pirates. Yer. Uh, we used lasers. Take out the cockpit. Oh, I can send him back to the shields now. Yep, I wanted some missiles anyway. The ship explodes, leaving behind a sub substantial collection of useful scrap metal. Huzzah! Okay, <laughs> let's jump. The reason I haven't been uploading videos is mostly because I have tons of work I have to be doing. This is like my last year of school. I'll be going to university soon, believe it or not. I am that, that old. I probably don't sound it, but I am fairly old. I am I am 17. Coming up 18 in May. Oh, here we go. You follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid fit belt. You find a small ship struggling to move her through the field. They message you, help, our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last. Try to shield their ship with yours and escort them out the ship, out, uh, out the field. Yeah, I'll do that. Despite your best efforts, the Sunian ship breaks apart from the constant barrage. You barely are able to break out of the uh, asteroid field yourself. The ship sustains some damage in the process. Scrap eight. I've got eight scrap now. It's all right. I think I'll go to the store. I'm going to buy some fuel. I'm going to also repair all my sh ooh boarding droid. Got cloaking. I think I'll just buy some fuel for now. Buy all the fuel and a missile and fix all my ship. And buy another missile. Should buy a lot of missiles. That's good. Okay. I'm gonna go over here. Oh and the rebel fleet is this kind of line, they're kinda like um invading in and if you go into the warning zone or into the this part here, you are absolutely buggered. You you will not survive. It's it's that simple. They will just come along and they'll destroy you. It's total mania. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Unless you have a very powerful ship. A strange vessel approaches. A digital message appears on your view screen. It's an automated merchant. Refill this vessel with fuel and I'll supply you with drones. Nah. Mm, go over here, actually. I'm going to explore what's over here. You receive a request. All our military ships have been destroyed or damaged during the ribbon. However, there are reports of Mantis war camps only a few jumps from us. Can you help? Uh, no. mm. I'm not quite sure about this. Shall I accept or shall I decline? I shall apologise and decline. There's no way you're crazy enough to want to take on a Mantis war band. Yep. Oh, bulls. By the way, if you die in this game, you're not coming back. It's yeah, simple as that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go into the nebula. Ship starts to power up its FTL drive. I forgot to read that, sorry, you're gonna have to read that yourself, but um Ship powers up its FTL drive. If it gets away, you'll no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Take out its engines then, and then let's take out its weapons. Oh, missile come in. Oh, and I've lost my door control. Get you do that. Actually, I'll just use my that. Oh, balls! Let's see, this is a fire on the ship. Come on, put it out, mate. Come on, Philip. Go on. 
And she's kind of ironic. 